Welcome back, Blight Lords. Uh, we're wrapping up the seven days of Nurgles. Now, I know I was on a roll for getting the first two videos out. Uh, I got caught up over the weekend and the holidays uh, prep and all that kind of stuff. So, but I wanted to complete it. I wanted to go through the rest of these models because they're so um, they're just so great. They're really well sculpted. Have a ton of character. Uh, in the you know first day uh, through the third day, we had some just really cool things come up, especially the the Bloppity Bile Piper and and uh, you know that sort of thing. So some cool models. And uh, if you remember when I was speaking with uh, with Paul, um, one of the things that he uh, had heard rumor of and was was curious about it was whether or not the the dude on the cover of the book uh, was going to get a model and here he is uh, the Lord of Blight. Now uh, what's cool about this guy is obviously there's a couple of rules where those heads hanging up he can give those to some Blight Kings and they can toss those and get a, a weapon uh, basically a, a ranged attack in that regard but that shield that hammer um, there's just some really cool aesthetics going on here What's also really cool about this uh, is that he is very closely, well, first of all, let's look at, uh, here's him on the cover. Um, you know, you can see the model. Uh, I really like the tones and colors on the, the cover, maybe a little bit more than the ones on the model. Um, but I think he's just got a ton of character and he looks like he belongs in this, in this army. And there's a very good reason for that because he is almost... A, uh, he's based off of the um, Lord of Plagues model uh, that is a carryover from the old world, very iconic Nurgle model uh, with that uh, two-handed axe, um, representing um, you know this this Lord of Plagues models represented a number of of uh, kind of characters in the stories in the books, and now we've got this uh, new the Lord of Blights. Now, if you look, their their base model is very similar. Uh, to where the strap is going over his right uh, flab peck, <laughs> uh, how their guts hang, you know, a little bit of the cloth, uh, the shoulder pad shape, um, the shape of the arms, etc. So, I, I mean, these guys are, are brothers from the same mother. Uh, and, uh, you know, just just cool looking, um, cool looking model. Also, on the fourth day, uh, they gave us a new piece of art, and this is a gut rot spoon piece. Uh, just really cool, real... Real, uh, what's interesting is gut rot spoon specifically brings a very nautical feel uh, to uh, kind of an aspect of of uh, Nurgle, and we saw in one of the um, great unclean ones that there was a little bit of fin going on there, kind of on the the, the ear, and then some tentacles going on, and, and so this guy you know kind of really embodies that. Interestingly enough. The next, um, on day five, what we got were the Pusgoyle Blight Lords. And these guys are really cool. They, they look like uh, plague drones. And the, the, what they tell us is that these guys are fast like plague drones, but durable like Blight Kings. Now, I got to say, I've, fought, I've played against some uh, plague drones, and those things are plenty durable. So these guys are going to get even more durable. I'm sure these guys put out a lot more pain, too. If they're anything like the Blight Kings that just can put out a ton of attacks, um, these guys are going to be formidable. Um, but what's really cool is, uh, you know, just these the models here, these are bulkier models, holding up that bulkier figure on top, so it's going to be really cool having, um, you know, uh, Blight drones and these guys. Um, the other cool thing is that, uh, um, let's see, where is that one? Uh, this guy here is... Uh, I believe it's this guy, that's my take, but one of these guys can be turned into a, um, uh, oh gosh, a Lord of Contagion, I think it is. Oh, I should look it up. Um, but uh, but you can make a Lord, uh, a hero, out of uh, this kit. And so that gives you, um, uh, what that gives you is the ability to do an all-flying army. Um, Let's see, Lord of Affliction. Um, so that gives you the ability to do an all-flying army, which is uh, really, I mean, just really cool for Nurgle. Uh, you get um, one of the, I've been playing Death for a long time, and Death in general is known as being slow, but you get into Soul Blight, and now you get some speed. Um, same with, you know, Chaos, you know, it's cool now. In Nurgle, you can have a, uh, you know, a way of building a Nurgle army where you get quite a bit of speed out of it. An army known for being super slow, 
and kind of durable now has a, a little bit more ability to grab objectives, uh, stick and hold. Um, uh, also what's cool about this is you've got, uh, um, these guys are not on flight stands, they have um, modeled bases uh, or things that help them look like they're flying, uh, which I really enjoy. I like, uh, I like it looking like the scenery, um, you know, there's just nothing breaking the, the mystery. They actually look like they're flying and I think that's a really cool choice. On, um, uh, and uh, so on day five, we also got a new uh, piece of artwork, and that was a bunch of these uh, Puscoil Blight Lords and Putrid Blight Kings uh, fighting against Stormcast. This one's really cool. In the background, you can see these huge domed uh, buildings, and even in front, this kind of really huge dome uh, kind of getting blown apart, uh, taken down, etc. Um, so just a, kind of a really cool world building uh, feel to it. And these, uh, these Nurgle warriors are just kind of pushing through and punching through the, the Stormcast. All right, so let's look at day uh, six. We get Beasts of Nurgle. Now, um, the same way we got Sloppity Bile Piper being kind of this goofy side of, of Nurgle, um, the Beasts of Nurgle are also known as being this kind of <coughs> fun, want to hug you real tight till you die kind of character. Um, and we saw some variation in the in the Christmas video. Um, here we're just seeing one version of it. We get we're seeing kind of this you know open mouth that doesn't look too threatening. These fun looking uh, suction tentacles, uh, you know, a little bit of claw, um, real real cuddly, snuggly, like a big old rotten bean bag. Um, however, and and these uh, come in a package of one. You can fill one at a time. You can fill up to three. Um, there's some uh, you know. There's some variation on these, which is cool, um, and they go really well with uh, um, Hort. Hort. Oh man, it's can't think of his name. The guy riding the snail, uh, Horticulus. Um, so they go really well with him and work with him. So that's gonna be cool. Them kind of lolloping around, uh, kind of the giant snail guy. Um, now these guys look cute, but. Uh, you look at this, and this is disgusting. This is probably the most disgusting of the <laughs> of the wallpapers. Um, you just get you see those tubes on top are just spewing out some pretty nasty stuff. Um, but beasts and ruggles look really cool. Now day seven, uh, we get something new, um, and we saw it in the video. But this is really new for a release. We haven't had a specifically a, a terrain release with a uh, model release. Uh, obviously the Sylvaneth tied tightly to the uh, Sylvaneth Wildwoods, but those are just any old terrain, like they're, it's the stock Wildwoods that uh, Games Workshop has had. Um, in this case, this is this can be used as a piece of terrain to make a table look, uh, you know, very, very soiled and corrupted, but um, this also has special rules. So if, you know, it seems like, uh, well, and, and uh, Horticulus, who I mentioned riding the snail, has the ability to grow these. So as he's moving across the board, um, and, and it's going to do things where I, I believe I've, I've seen or heard where it will do some damage uh, to things, that, to enemies, and it will uh, heal some the friendlies. And But it has some, it's almost like uh, it, it has some rules that encourages you to, you know, go towards it, even if it's the opponent's, um, uh, feculent gnarl maw, uh, you know, so so it's going to be it could be really interesting. But more than anything, I mean, it's just it's just a really cool model. Um, one of the the images they showed in the video or in uh, preview on day day two, I think it was, was a picture of this um, kind of hugging um, one of the um, one of the other terrain pieces. And I like the idea of, of this being something that could be set next to a terrain piece so that it's corrupting that other terrain piece. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, and this is day seven. This one closes off um, our uh, seven days of, of Nurgle. And our last piece of wallpaper is uh, just kind of this, it almost it has kind of a line drawing quality to it. Kind of reminds me of almost like a children's book, uh, but we got this nasty snail carrying some Nurglings look up here in the tree, you see another little snail, it's uh, growing big and strong. Um, 
and then you got the feculent gnarl maw here on the left. Uh, but just, you know, a lot of color, a lot of fun in this. Um, so uh, thanks for joining me for these uh, seven days of Nurgle um, for, you know, coming along. I'm experimenting, trying to see what it's like to kind of uh, look at these new releases, give a point of view or kind of give an overview of, of, of what, they're, what they are and, and what they're about. And um, as I get more comfortable with this, uh, you know, just imagining how they're going to fit into games, how they tell stories, um, where they fit in the army, uh, visually, etc. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get more comfortable with that if you guys like these. So please uh, watch this, like and subscribe, um, and that will help me know uh, that this is the type of video that you guys want to put out. Thank you for uh, watching again, and we'll talk to you again real soon.